In this video, I will give you an overview of how to do valuation of a company. But as you can imagine, running a valuation of a company is a very elaborate process. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do that in this video. But please do visit the financial modeling module on Varsity to understand how this can be done on an Excel sheet. In this video, let me run you through the different techniques that you can use to value a company. Broadly speaking, there are three ways in which you can value a company. The first technique to value a company is called the intrinsic valuation of a company. The common tool used here is called the discounted cash flow analysis model or simply the DCF model to calculate the intrinsic value of a company. DCF model considers the free cash flow available to the company. It considers the growth rate of these cash flow and it also considers the risk, incorporates all that in the model and gives you a sense of how cheap or expensive the stock is. The second technique to value a company is called the relative value technique. Usually, investors use the relative value technique when they can't apply the intrinsic value technique to value a company. For example, if a company that you're valuing does not have positive free cash flow, then there is no way you can apply a discounted cash flow or, or there is no way you can conduct an intrinsic value of a company. So this is a situation where you value a company based on relative valuation. In relative valuation techniques, you usually compare two or more companies belonging to the same sector and measure the common metrics such as cash flow, price to sales, price to book, debt to equity, and any other variable that you think makes sense to get a sense of how one company is priced against the other. While doing so, you can finally arrive at a decision to buy or sell a stock based on how cheap or expensive the stock is trading. The third technique to value a company which is relatively new in the industry is an option-based valuation. In an option-based valuation, the value of a company is contingent upon an event. For example, assume that there is a pharma company which has applied for a patent. The value of this pharma company will be unlocked only if the patent is approved. Now, how will you value this company? Clearly, there is an option-like structure here. The value is unlocked only if a certain event happens. In this case, patent getting approved. So in such a situation, you use the option pricing formula to value this company. This is a fairly complex valuation technique compared to the intrinsic or the relative valuation technique. As an investor, I would suggest you get comfortable with the first two techniques of valuation. That's the intrinsic valuation and the relative valuation technique. I'm anyway covering that in the financial modeling module of Varsity. So please do visit that and start learning those techniques.